Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about the proper way to chop up an avocado. This one's still got the sticker on it which says ripe and ready. Hopefully it is ripe and ready. One little technique to be able to tell is to see if the stalk, if it comes out easily. Ooh, if it pops out just like that, that's usually a good sign. So the thing you want to remember with an avocado is to always keep it on the board. You never want to hold it in your hand and start chopping. That will lead to dangerous injuries, including avocado knife hand, which is what the ERs are calling it around the country because so many people are holding it in their hand. What you want to do is you want to grab a knife. You can use a paring knife or a chef's knife and you want to do the bridge. So the bridge is when you hold your hand like that, bring it close to the camera so you can see, and there's a gap basically in your hand. And you're going to cut along that gap long ways. So you're going to do a slicing technique all the way around, twisting that avocado. And then if you cut it all the way around, still keeping it on the board, you'll find that your cut joins up. You can put the knife down and literally just twist the avocado apart. And this is obviously a beautiful clean avocado. You might get one that has some bruising on it. That's not a problem. You just cut the bruised parts out. Because this is so ripe, the skin should come off really easily. You can just peel it off. Now this is one way to do it. Another way to do it is to leave the skin on and maybe I'll show you with the other half how you can do it. Okay, so this half, I've just got the skin off. It's come off really easily. And to slice it, I'm just gonna go whoop de do along like that long ways. Again, keeping the claw technique. So that's the other technique, the claw, which is opposite to the bridge and then clawing it so you've got nice little cubes this is perfect for a salsa or a salad there you go that's half the avocado now to get the stone out again you don't want to hold it and whack it with your knife even though you might see people do that what you want to do is actually gently sort of massage squish that stone out and the advantage of doing this is that then you can grow this avocado pit into a beautiful avocado plant um, if you cut it when you're taking it out, it's less likely to grow. So you can keep that. And um, the other way to chop an avocado is again to keep it flat on your board. This is the hedgehog technique. So what you're doing here is you're taking your smaller paring knife and you're cutting slices along and you're stopping just short of the skin. So you can see that the skin hasn't been pierced. So I've gone long ways. Now I'm going to go across. And in a second, what you could do is you could turn that like that, kind of inside out like a hedgehog. People cut mangoes like this as well. Um, and then the avocado should just literally fall out. Um, I think this is slightly messier, but yeah, it's kind of fun to do, especially if you're working with young people who like the idea of using a hedgehog method. But there you go. Beautiful avocado, chopped up. And if you weren't going to use it right away, remember to cover it in some lemon juice, any kind of acid will stop it from going brown um, and you could just serve it honestly like this with a bit of salt, a bit of lemon um, and a touch of, a touch of love I guess. Enjoy your avocado.